Well, folks, Jordan Peterson is back. In fact, come to think of it, I don't know if he actually ever really left because I haven't been following the career of Jordan Peterson. But I'm told that this man is supposedly an intellectual, a right-wing intellectual, which is an oxymoron, but nonetheless, he's supposed to be really smart. But he put out a banger of a tweet that I had to talk about because it proves that even the smartest people on the right aren't as intelligent as the dumbest people on the left. So he thought he'd do a little bit of a sick burn on leftists, a bit of a gotcha. But I'm going to explain to you why this is incredibly stupid. So he tweeted out, It's mystifying to see so little skepticism of oft-vilified Big Pharma re-COVID vaccines on the left. Can someone explain this? Now, it's a bit of a rhetorical question for him because he knows the answer. The answer is, oh, well, it's because leftists are hypocrites. That's the point that he's trying to make. Now, maybe he'd argue, no, I'm just being intellectually curious. That's a really bad Jordan Peterson impression. It's it's the best Kermit the Frog that I could muster up. But nonetheless, maybe he, he would try to play this off as, I'm just asking questions about the left. I'm genuinely honest. I'm asking earnestly. But we know what this is about. He could play dumb, but he's trying to do a bit of a gotcha to the left. And he thinks that this is a really big brain take. But it's not. It's the brainlet meme with the hamster wheel on the head. You know which one I'm talking about. It's stupid. I mean, what is the expectation for leftists? Do you think that we're supposed to reject modern medicine and embrace faith healing, use crystals to heal ourselves, uh, essential oils? What do you expect? Of course, we use the products that Big Pharma produces. When we have a headache, uh, most people on the left, I'm assuming, they take Tylenol, manufactured by Big Pharma. If somebody on the left has diabetes, they're going to take insulin. So this isn't the own that you think it is. In fact, it makes you look intellectually dishonest and lazy. This is sloppy thinking, and it's a really sad attempt at a gotcha. And really what this may be is him signaling his next trajectory to kind of jump on this anti-vax grift bandwagon, because I'll tell you this, as a small of a mi minority, uh, the anti-vaxxers are in this country. They absolutely are passionate. And anyone on this platform who pays lip service to uh, anti-vaxxers or on any platform, really, they get very, very popular. And you can test this out. Just look at any channel that recently started to cover the vaccines in a negative way recently. Look at their analytics. Go to Social Blade. Look at the boost in subs and uh, views that they got because of this anti-vax rhetoric. So it's, it's really popular. And so if you're a grifter, this is a very potentially lucrative thing to, to talk about. But there's a bunch of uh, leftists on the internet who responded, and I had to share what they had to say because their responses were perfect. They all dunked on him as they should. Benjamin Dixon responded saying, you're a wee bit late to the grift, Jordan. Exactly. Good politic guy says the actual conspiracy is how the profit motive behind the vaccines has led to a massive global inequality of access costing countless lives purely for the profits of big pharma. The data showing vaccines are effective at preventing hospitalization and death is overwhelming. Exactly. Facts matter. Cody Johnston says vaccines are good and this one is free. Adam Johnson says the left criticism of Big Pharma is that they're price gouging greedy assholes who deny life saving drugs to the global south and poor here at home. Not that they invent sinister potions to plant microchips and people dipshit. Natalie Shore chimes in with a perfect point as well, saying the whole reason pharma is so evil is they perform a socially necessary function. If they didn't, they'd be so much lower on the list of terrible industries. And that's precisely it. The issue that the left has collectively with Big Pharma is their greed. It's that they know that what they have, what they've created, oftentimes with public funding, is necessary. And so knowing that people are desperate for the product that they put out, they manipulate. They work with other companies who pr produce similar treatments and they collectively raise the costs, forcing people to pay. I mean, this is what happened with EpiPen. They, they consolidate also. It's, it's the business practices, not that they are going around spreading and creating poison and, and killing people. I just feel like he should know this. It's like attacking leftists for participating in society. Oh, well, you don't like uh, capitalism? Well, I see that you've got a cell phone there. 
Capitalism invented that cell phone. Capitalism led to the innovation and the technology that uh, led to you having a cell phone. Okay, you can still participate in society and have criticisms of society. So for Jordan Peterson, a so-called intellectual to make this point, I mean, I just got a question. What was he saying before? Was he ever actually that intellectual? Were people listening to the arguments that he was making? Because I first heard of Jordan Peterson because of his anti-trans hysteria. He claimed that a bill in Canada would lead to people going to jail if they misgender somebody who's transgender when zero people have been jailed as a result of that law. So the dude doesn't really seem like he knows what he's talking about, and if anything, he seems like a hack. And the one good thing about Jordan Peterson was that he kind of offered these self-help tips. He was he was a sort of self-help guru, but if he ended up going to rehab himself and can't get his own life together, wouldn't he have taken his own advice if his advice was worthwhile? It just seems like this is someone who really shouldn't be taken seriously based on the things that he said and done. And this is just further proof of that. Now, perhaps he'll have his second wind, another 15 minutes of fame by jumping on the anti-vax bandwagon. Maybe this is just a one-off. Either way, this tweet was absolutely idiotic, but it's really the best that you can expect from so-called intellectuals on the right. They have nothing. Their ideas are bankrupt intellectually and morally, and this is why the points that they make, they always seem overly hacky. No, of course, you're not a fucking big pharma shill if you're a leftist who believes in a life-saving vaccine. That doesn't make you a big pharma shill. What would make you a big pharma shill is if you took money from a pharmaceutical company and then you advocated for them. You made arguments on their behalf, but nobody on the left is doing that. When we say you should get the COVID-19 vaccine, it's because we're doing it out of self-interest and a concern for human beings who we do not want to see suffer because of this pandemic. So it just to see this, I mean, it, it's so intellectually sloppy, but it's it's what the right thinks is uh, intelligent. So, OK, keep making silly points like this and we'll keep changing more minds because this is not something that's going to convince normal people that you're being honest. You're a good faith actor. This is bad faith and this is stupid. It's galaxy brain. It's it's low IQ shit.